So welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a email newsletter template and this is a template that you can use again and again in the future uh, whenever you want to send an email to your mailing list. So first of all, um, from your dashboard when you logged into MailChimp you'll need to go into the campaigns area which you can access on the left hand side here. In order to get to your templates area which you can go to from the top right and click on my templates button. So this opens up uh, the My Templates area, and from here you can click on the Create Template uh, button, which allows you to go through the process of creating a new template. Now there's two options with MailChimp. We have pre-designed templates, which have um, colors and fonts already loaded in, so you can go and take a look at all of those, and if any of those fits your business, then um, it's worthwhile using one of those. Uh, if not, then you can set something up that's a lot more personalized by clicking on the Basic area. And as you can see, you've got lots of different options here in terms of the layout. So these are all blank emails, ready to have all of your, your colors, your fonts, your logos, your pictures edited and added in there um, and ready to go. So it's simply a matter of choosing your layout and then populating it and formatting it as you wish. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, an email template using the right sidebar layout. Now this layout works out quite well, I've found, with most devices, so you can present the emails quite well on an iPad or an iPhone or just a normal computer. Um, and it's also quite standard as well, you know, there tends to be quite a lot of um, emails that go out with this, this format. Now if you don't like this layout, uh, that's absolutely fine, you can use any layout. Um, so once you've watched this video, you should have all of the information that you'll need in order to personalise any other layout. Okay, so I'm going to select the right sidebar template and then we have a blank template in here for us to use. So uh, first of all, you'll need to get your images prepared. Um, for your header, you will need one, an image that's 600 wide by any height. Now I wouldn't suggest having it too high, but maybe 100 pixels, 200 pixels at the most, uh, something like that. And then for your right head image, you will need one that's 160 wide. Um, saying that if you've got something a little bit bigger you can always reduce it down a little bit but I wouldn't recommend going up from a smaller size because it will stretch or it will start to decrease the quality of your image. Okay, now it's not to worry too much if you don't have something that's exactly 600 because you can always put in something that's a lot smaller and just align it to the left. So I'm going to click on change in the header so that I can put a different image on here. Now you'll need to upload your images from your file manager. Um, or sorry, into the file manager. So to do that from your computer, you can click on browse for a file and then you can just browse around on your computer and find uh, the uh, particular image that you want. And I've actually already gone through that process, but basically once you found the image, you would um, select it and then click upload. So here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, it's not exactly 600 wide, um, but you know it's 400 wide it's, it's not too too far off and it does seem to present okay so I'm just having a look at the image properties here that looks fine to me scroll down a bit and I can click on save and insert image and there we go there is my image so that's my header for my clinic already done the next step is to add another image for your right hand side bar here so I quite like to use this for my headshot um, you could use it for if you want, maybe a picture of your, your business or your clinic, something like that. Uh, so I'm going to select my image of my headshot here. Now as you can see this is, um, this is actually the right width, 160 wide. If you had something that was a little bit bigger, as long as you've got the key proportions box checked, you could actually change that there. I mean I could reduce that to 80 if I wanted to and then it would reduce automatically. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to keep it at 160 which is what that um, box is sized for. And then I'm going to click Save and Insert Image. So that's my images done for now. So you'll need to make sure that if you're using Facebook or Twitter, uh, you actually have um, this set up so that it goes to your Facebook account. So I'm going to click on Edit on there. And you can see this is just a simple link. So I'm going to highlight that link and then go over to the toolbar here and select the link button, which looks like a chain. And then I'm going to type over that. So I'm going to put my Facebook URL in here, which is Hormonal Harmony. 
then click insert. That's done. And then I also need to do the same for Twitter as well. So I'm going to edit that. Highlight follow on Twitter. Click on my link here. And then go ahead and type that in there. So mine is Twitter. Get that spelled right. Dot com forward slash Kerry D. Williams. I okay, can insert that. So that's my links fixed up on the right hand side there. So um, depending on what you want to put on your right sidebar, you might actually want to have some content in here that doesn't really change too much. I tend to do that personally in my email, but obviously that is a completely personal choice. Um, so I'm not going to labor this point too much right now, but I'll just give you a quick introduction to this area. So if you wanted to edit this content block, as it's called, you would simply hit edit. And then maybe I'll put something like um, my clinic in here. Having a very bad day for spelling at the moment. And then you could put your address in if you wanted to, or your hours on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, etc. So you get the idea. If there's any information that you want to, basically, if there's any text if, that you want to have on your template constantly and it's not going to change too often, it's worth just adding in now. So there we go. That's that there. Um, this middle content block will probably change every time I send an email, so I'm not going to do anything on that at the moment. And the final thing I need to do is just to update all of these links down the bottom as well. So we've got another couple of um, Twitter and Facebook links down the bottom. So if you just hover over that and then click the edit button, you'll see all of those come up, all of those links. And I'm just going to highlight follow on Twitter here, click on my link, and I'm going to type in my Twitter. URL here and that's done. Insert that and obviously I'm not going to repeat myself because uh, I'm sure you get the process by now but should, for, do you do the same for the Facebook here so highlighting that going into your link area and then just putting your correct Facebook profile and um, URL onto there. I'm going to click save now and then finally, you can change all of the colors and the fonts if you wish to. I'm not going to change everything um, on this video because it would end up being a half an hour long video. Uh, but just to give you a very, very quick overview, you've got a number of different options for all the different areas up here. So as you can see, I'm on page at the moment. And um, I'm, within page, I'm on the background color um, scheme at the moment. So as you can see, the background color is this um, hex code FAFAFA. So if I just click on that, I can actually change this color scheme here by going up to any of these colors, and I can just select that. Now sometimes, depending on your browser, it doesn't quite work in terms of getting that hex code and putting it into the box, so I might have to copy and paste that, and then when I click tab, that's done. So I probably wouldn't actually use that very bright green, that's a little bit too much, but there you go, you can do that if you want to. Um, and then you've got a lot of other options along here as well. I've got an email border which I could put on, I could change that to any different style, let's say rounded, and I could make it a little bit more prominent perhaps, and I could change the colour of it as well if I wanted to. So there we go, little black border there. And that's my, my border changed a little bit there. I could change the headings as well. So as you can see, there's a demonstration here of heading one, two, three, and four. So when I'm typing text, I could actually highlight that and change the styling of that according to whatever I program in here. Um, so under heading one, I could actually change the font if I wanted to, to a different font. I could change the color of my font to a different font. That will actually look awful, I'm sure, <laughs> but you get the idea. I could have it read if I wanted to. And I could change the size in here. So there are a lot of different options in here. And as you can see, I've now programmed that in. So every time I select heading one in the future, it's now going to be red. You also have the same options for heading two, three, and four. And then if we go over to the header, as you can see, that's the options for the header up the very top. You've got all of the different options for the text. You can change the size and the styling on that. You can change the color of all the links throughout. Uh, you can change the styling of the header, you can put a different background colour on it. If you're using text on your header, you could actually change all of the different text styling on there. And all of the links as well, so again you can change your, your text colours for the links. So there's an awful lot you can do to actually personalise everything here. Um, again, body, this is the central content area here, so you can change 
all of the color schemes and the font um, options for your body here. Sidebar, you have a number of different options there as well for your background colors, etc, etc. And then finally your footer for the text and the link colors and then this, the styling on the, um, the social sharing bar, so your Twitter and your Facebook sharing. There's an awful lot of options that you've got here. Um, so play around, it's worth just playing around and, and keep going until you find something that works really, really well. Once you've done that, all you need to do is click save and exit. I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to name my template, so let's just say monthly client newsletter template. And then I'm going to click Save As, and I'm going to exit to Templates. So now I have my monthly client newsletter template all set up and ready to go for each and every uh, mail shot that I do in the future.